Hi, yes, this is a small video to prove you that you can actually control your RC plane, whatever, through a computer with only a simple, um, here we go, stereo cable. This costs nearly nothing, and this probably works with a mono cable as well, of course, but you don't need any expensive interface, USB, whatever, you just use a sound card of your computer. So, you might see here, this is my sound output. Check this plug, the other side is here, it goes into the DX7. This only works with Spectrum systems because, yeah, I made it on Spectrum system. <laughs> um, so, turn up port, plug it there. Here we go, turn on the DX7. You can see no Trini. The DX7 is set up as master in P Link mode, meaning the mixing on the trims are done on the remote control. And on the computer, we start the program. Hello, little program. This is the channels. Very simple at the moment. Um, but what's important is if we look back at the DX7, we see this line Spectrum DX7. It means the PPM is recognized. Um, this is bound to my four sides here. Yeah. You can see if I move the throttle, it's actually working. I have actually mixing for the platform, so yeah, don't be surprised if the L ones move at the same time as the stabilizer, of course. Yeah. So we'll put a bit of throttle now, like 50%. And yeah, we will put everything into the middle because we don't want the controls to move everywhere. The other channels are not used. It's the PPM signal is always a channel, but four sides do not use everything. So on the DX7 to enable the body to get the control, you have to actually push a button. So I'm doing that now. Okay, so you see some throttle here. I'm gonna put a minimum and push the button again. Mostly move, that's good. Now we're going to move channel two. Forgot what channel two is, but we will see. Put Full left. Yeah, aerons, obviously. <laughs> and full right. See, I only push this button. Let's make it more clear. Because people think I'm lying all the time. I think that's clear enough. <laughs> okay. And just for fun, other channels. So, channel 3 to maximum. This is vertical stabilizer. And channel 4, maximum should be the rider and piece. And the other side, just because we can. And oh, we go on the other side. Isn't it incredible? I know. Yeah. Just for your information, this is the audio signal representing one PPM sample for the DX7. So it's very nice digital signal using digital audio. <laughs> Up. And for comparison, I have it somewhere. Nope. Okay, whatever. Um, if we unplug the stereo card, we can hear the PPM signal. This is really an audio signal, and of course, no more PPM on DX7. I plug it back in, and it's back. So, I think that's a good enough proof that it's actually really working. And I hope I will make a small interface for my joystick, and maybe I will port it to Windows or something so everyone can use it. <laughs> That's it, have fun.